Today I'll be showing you how a reed switch works. There are four reed switches here. Your multimeter wires for your meter and a magnet. Uh, let's take this big switch for instance. You can see there are two contacts inside this glass, piece of glass. The two contacts are not touching. They're normally open, we would call. Call that normally open. Um, there's no air inside. They're hermetically sealed in this glass and the two contacts do not touch. When you hook up your continuity tester to the switch, you can see there is no continuity, but if I take my magnet and pass it by the switch, the contacts close. You can hear the beeping sound indicating that the two contacts have been pulled together. They close to make a complete circuit. Uh, these other switches are just to show you there are big reed switches and smaller reed switches. And this particular switch here has two leads on the end and one on the other. This we would call a single pole double throw switch. So this side is your common. And then on this end you have your normally open or normally closed leg. This leg is normally closed without the magnet present. It's just closed all the time. The other leg is open. Now just to demonstrate, we can put this clip on the normally open leg, grab our magnet, oops, fell off. They're fairly close, so you don't want them to touch. Grab your magnet. You can see with that magnet, it causes the switch to close. The normally open side. The normally closed side will do just the opposite. If you take your magnet, the switch will open. And that's how a single pull double throw reed switch works. These other two switches are the same, a smaller single pull double throw switch and a smaller single pull single throw switch. And that is how a reed switch works.